So, so <laughs> what's going on guys? This is Brian Pickwitz here. And Lindsay Rago. Um, we are vlogging today. So today is December 26th and we had a very rough holiday. But a great holiday. We but ate, a lot of food. We ate a lot of cake. And so this is back on track. Um, we're going to be getting back on track with our diet. We're going to be getting back on track with our training. Um, our training never really yeah, we still up. we still lifted. So we were Christmas on track with Christmas lifting and doing the cardios and stuff like that. But uh, we're gonna smash legs today. Are you training? Yeah, I'm training. Legs. So we're training legs today. Um, we're training at Heavy Metal Gym in Laconia. It's an epic gym, and we're gonna have a blast. So thanks for tuning in. It's gonna be a fun time, and I'm also filming on my new Christmas gift, my new camera for the vlog. So uh, I'm really excited, and hopefully this comes together really well. So we'll see you in the video. guys so we're here at heavy metal gym we're starting off with about 15 minutes of cardio this is more done as a warm-up before your leg workout um, I usually don't do a lot of running before I work out or anything like that this is more to loosen up any of the muscles and to get focus get the mind on the task at hand so if you guys are going into a workout, I don't think it's productive to do a lot of cardio beforehand. I think that you should focus, no matter what your goal is, you should focus on the actual exercises you're doing. But knock out some quick cardio, get your mind right, get focused, and start hitting it hard. That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's smash some legs. We're gonna have a good time here at Heavy Metal.
So what's going on guys? So we just wrapped up our leg workout today and this is Heavy Metal Gym. So Heavy Metal Gym is a gym in Laconia, New Hampshire. Um, for me it was the gym that I found uh, my sophomore year high, uh, college rather and it is the best bodybuilding and powerlifting gym in New Hampshire if not New England. It's I gotta show you my favorite picture but this gym really inspired me to get into fitness, get into bodybuilding, and this is the image I always looked at when I was trying to find inspiration to keep working out. So you gotta check this out. If this doesn't motivate you, nothing's going to. So I'm taking over for Brian while he's in the shower, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of pointers about how you can still eat your Thanksgiving leftovers. Um, you just can't have pumpkin pie, I guess, and all that other stuff that will have it fit in your macros nicely. So what I'm doing is actually, I'll show you. So I am having four ounces of turkey from yesterday. It's just roasted turkey. Like we didn't put anything really on it, just herbs and stuff. And I'm gonna have four ounces. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it up, pan fry it with just some spray and um, seasoning and stuff. And then what I also have is some roasted veggies. So we did something a little bit different and we put, um, on this huge batch, we put like two tablespoons of oil, but of olive oil. So the amount that I'm gonna have is maybe like a, a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. So I'll probably track a teaspoon of oil. And then it's just like peppers and acorn squash and carrots. So not really a big deal. And then I'm gonna have, um, you'll see, but I'm gonna, put the turkey on salad and on Ezekiel bread. And that'll be my post-workout. So, that's what we're doing. So, here's the final project. I actually put a couple tablespoons of this stuff on it. It's like 40 calories and three grams of fat, so. I have my piece of Ezekiel bread with a little cheese on it. Got the turkey, a little salad, and some roasted veggies. Look good, Bray? Yeah, looks delicious. I'm excited to eat some of it. <laughs> going on guys so we're back um, so most of the things I've been doing today have been working on clients programs which I can show you I'm working on all these it's very exciting stuff but one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is uh, this you know the last couple days obviously the holidays and so on and we ate a lot of food I had a lot of cake way too much cake um, and so what I'm doing now is I'm setting myself back up on what I was doing beforehand to get ready for my contest and my photo shoot um, and it's pretty simple I'm just right back I'm not doing as much cardio or anything like that but I think it's important that falling back in place this is the week that most people would fall of course because they're going to say to themselves oh I can wait for 2017 or you know it's it's fine to put it off another week until the new year um, but trying to get back on this week is going to be the most beneficial thing for you so that's what I'm doing and that's what you should be doing um, and then from there you know just to show you this is something cool I've been working on so I am breaking down programs now at a little bit more functional level of actual post-workout and pre-workout nutrition, um, more specifically to the client's goals. So if this is the person's goal for this, I'm going to actually give them more information. So any of the new programs are gonna get more information about that stuff too. So I'm back, decided to kick Lindsay off the phone and off the camera, and it's working a little bit well. So what's going on guys? So we're back here in Durham, New Hampshire. We're at Lindsay's apartment, she's at work, but I wanted to make this video um, really to help you get back on track. So that's the biggest thing about this video and this week is it's a point where most people would fall off, um, you know, 
you see the lull of the holidays and it's very easy to put it off in your mind. So let's make this week successful. Let's kick off 2017 on the right note. You know, I'm taking most of this week off from training so I can build a lot of the programs for my online clients. Um, we've signed three this week um, and I know they're gonna do fantastic. But the biggest thing for me is that post shoot, post contest, and let my body heal. So if you guys are having any nagging injuries or anything like that, don't be afraid to let your body heal and listen to it. Um, and that's the note I want to make for you. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I'm really excited to keep putting great content out and keep helping you. And above all else, I want to make this a page for you. So if you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see on the YouTube channel, please comment below, put it in the box, and let's just keep making this page successful because I'm having a blast and I'm, I'm very grateful and blessed to be bringing you guys on our journey so thanks for tuning in i hope to see you soon and i hope you have a great night take care guys Bye bye